glad that, that we are here again gathered and uh, and um, uh, again uh, studying, discussing, fellowshipping, uh, worshiping our Lord God. Amen. So this message is a message three in the series of 40 Days of the Light. And uh, I'm sure everybody, I'm sure everybody's reading their book, their Bible, uh, pay, uh, daily uh, Bible daily challenge. And uh, I'm sure that by 40 days, we end up reading Revelations. Amen. And on, on the top of that, uh, we will be reciting our memory verse. And uh, by the way, why not? Why 40 days? You know? Why 40 days of the light? Why not 365 days a year delight in reading God's word? Amen? Amen. Okay. Now, let me be like a teacher now. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Come on. We will recite the verses that you have memory, uh, you have memorized for the past two, two, day, uh, two weeks. Amen? Amen? So the first week, um, Psalm 37 verse 4. Psalm 37 verse 4. Ang hindi makapag-recite, hindi opo. Alright? Pero, anyway, uh, we have, a, we have, a, a, we have a activity after this, uh, after this service. So, we will all recite um, Psalm 37 verse 4. But before we recite, I would like to welcome our uh, visitors from, uh, from Elmer's. And uh, Sister, come on in, come on down. All right. Okay, let's let's recite but, uh, Psalm 37, verse 4. The light the light yourself, yourself also, also in the Lord, Lord and, it will and give He you shall give you the desires, the desires of, your of your heart. And last week, verse, which was uh, which was a uh, Psalm one. Uh, 1, verse 2. Again, church, let's do it. But His delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his, his law, he meditates, he meditates day, and day and night. Today, you may see them. You may be seated. Now. Today, uh, we will be we will be tackling verse um, Psalm thirty-seven, verse twenty-three and twenty-four. But you will be reciting, or uh, you you're going to memorize Psalm thirty-seven, verse twenty-three. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and his delight in his way. So last week, Coach Ives, amen, Coach Ives delivered us a very nice message, delighting his word. If you don't follow and delighting his word, you will stand in the path of sinners. That's actually the opposite of, uh, that's the opposite of delight. The opposite of delight is disgust. That's wicked delight, disgust. He shall be, when you discuss that, you will be, you will not following the Lord's word, instruction, the Lord's law. You have, but if you follow the Lord's law, instructions, or his word, you will have a well-watered, well-grounded well -grounded life. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. The light, so... What's the meaning of the light? Let me let's go back every week. What's the meaning of the light? Something that gives you pleasure, something that gives you joy, and something that gives you satisfaction, right? Example, people likes to go sunset in the beach, and people likes to go sunrise also in the mountain. You delight to, to play basketball, you delight to drive far away, and you delight to you delight to eat food, special donut, chocolate, right? Ice cream. Mm -hmm. You delight to eat bananas. But when this delighting are too much, it's disgusting, right? Amen? Amen. Eating too much donut, ice cream, or chocolate, enjoying it for a while, but when it's too much, you feel guilty and ashamed, right? Like driving to Florida, it's too far. It's like the drug going in, but when you get to Florida, ah, and then when you come back here in the city, ah, fly na lang tayo next time. Amen. <laughs> so, 
How do you define it yourself? I'm sure everyone, everybody has their own definition of the life. Uh, look at your husband next to you. Can you say, I delight in yourself? I, de I delight you. I delight you. But, mga single dyan, wag ka ano. Do not turn around. Baka iba yung nasa tabi nyo, right? So, the title of this message is Delight in God's Way. Say it again. Delight in God's Way. When you delight the Lord, you should love His Word also. Because His love, His Word is love letter to us. Amen? So who, who, who else, uh, anybody of you wrote a love letter before? In the 1970s, the 1980s, in the 1990s, yeah? We delight to love, uh, to, uh, to write love letters, people, right? How, how many of you ladies mark your love letter with a kiss and with a lipstick? Mm -hmm. mm. So sorry. Huh? <laughs> you are delighted, us men, we are delighted to read those love letters, right? And if the postmaster doesn't come in every week, so where's the postman? Where's supposed to be my love, my love letter this week, huh? So when you delight the Lord with you, uh, with his word and his instruction, we should delight his ways also. You cannot say, I love you, Lord, and not delight in his way, right? You cannot love the Lord and not delight in his ways. Today, we are going to explore Psalms 37, verse 23. And the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and his delight in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, Lord God, for the day. Uh, we thank you, Lord God, for the fellowship that you have given us. We thank you, Lord God, for the people who will be hearing your word, Father God. Forgive us for any uh, iniquities, any sins that we may have. Uh, Lord, may we ask you, Holy Spirit, that we may be right to you in uh, sharing the gospel, in sharing your message. Lord, hide me behind the cross that you will be speak today, that let your word be our words and let your plan be our labor. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 So what God does do in Psalm 37? Ano ba ang ginawa ng Diyos sa Psalm 37? Sabi niya, He orders and He delights. Who? To you people, to the righteous people, to righteous believers, he orders his step, the righteous step to a good man. In Proverbs 20, 24, a man's step are of the Lord. How then a man can understand his own way? Sometimes you might say, I don't know where I'm going to, or I don't know where I'm heading to, and I don't know where my de destinations will be. But who knows? God knows, right? You will have the GPS. Ano yung GPS mo? You will have that Bible. Yan po ang GPS nyo, the Bible. He's God's word. Yan po ang, uh, if you delight in his word, your GPS is God's word. Amen? Samta, samta, somebody will say, well, I don't know what I'm going through today. But who knows? God knows, right? You might be saying, I don't know who will be my partners, huh? Next time. But God knows who will be your partners. God is guiding each one of us. One of the best lessons in the Bible uh, that we can see is the life of Joseph, right? The life of Joseph. Who knows the story of the life of Joseph here? Joseph here. From pit, we call it from pit to the palace. Back it. Because Joseph was thrown in the pit by his brothers who resented him because uh, Joseph was favored by his, uh, by his father. Although they sold him into slavery, Joseph went to become a master in Egypt and live in the palace. He delights the righteous, good person. The Lord himself delights in his way. Do you fall? Do you and me fall? Sabi niya sa 24, He shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. Ang ganda nga sa MSG, MSG uh, version ng Bible, sabi niya, if he stumbles, 
He's not done for long. God has a grip on his hands. Matisod man siya, hindi siya mabubuwal dahil hinahawakan siya ng Panginoon. So that's 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 righteous believer. That's the righteous good man. And and you think people, men in the Bible who fell before, but God lift them up. Who fell? So many. Adam fell because he partook the the fruit, right? No, uh, Noah fell because he he drank after the if after the after the after the flood. But it's not only that. He he became he was naked in his head, right? So kayo mga umiinom ya, don't be drunk because you'll be naked in your tent. And it's not only that. Obviously, when you drink, you fall, right? Okay. Lot fell because of he went to Sodom, right? Moses fell because he struck the he struck the rock instead of speaking to it, right? Ano ba? David fell because Nanilip. David fell because of Nanilip. So, what kind of Nanilip? Because of Bathsheba. Ang ganda kasi si Bathsheba eh. Nanilip siya. Kaya huwag manilip. Huwag magiging pi. Huwag magiging pi. Piping tom. One more. Solomon fell because of? Many wives. Many wives. <laughs> Many wives. Yeah. Yung mga iba dyan. Dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. Peter, Peter fell because he denied Jesus Christ. And the disciples fell because they hid after Christ uh, after Christ died, natakot sila. So I don't know if you have fallen or not, but whether we like we like it or not, you fall, you fell somehow. I fell because the pursuit of happiness. I fell before because of too much money in there, in the credit card. So we use all that money until we became almost we became bankrupt. So delighting could not could lead you to discuss destruction or even death if that is not glorifying to the Lord God. Amen. Amen. But when you start delighting the Lord and his ways, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. So before we delight God's ways, do we know God's ways? Huh? Before we delight God's ways, what are God's ways? So there's big difference between God's action and God's ways. Amen? God says people are more on God's actions. Lord, bless me. Lord, protect me. They need God's response. But for some reason, it's hard to follow or to see God's ways. Why? Okay, let me tell you this. Moses this Moses prayer in Exodus uh, 33, 13, if I'm not mistaken. Exodus 33, 13, this will be, this supposed to be our prayer. Sabi niya, please let me know your ways so that we may know God's ways and know God himself. Moses was asking God to let him know God's ways so that he may be pleasing to him and delighting in his ways. Sinagot ang Panginoon sa Psalms 103 verse 7. Psalm 103 verse 7, sabi niya, So he made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. So we are very familiar with man's ways. Yung mga methodology nyo, uh, methodology natin. We are very familiar. We have our own ways. But it is impossible for us to understand God's decision and his ways. Amen po ba? You cannot measure. We cannot measure or even trace them. Kasi, sabi ng Isaiah 55, I think verse 8. Sabi ng Isaiah verse 55, verse, uh, chapter 55, verse 8, sabi niya, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and nor are your ways are my ways, says the Lord. For as a heaven than earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. The methods of God accomplish his purposes on us is beyond human understanding. God's ways are mysterious. Amen? 
for instance, God's way, is, uh, God's way in healing people is different from God's way in healing me. God's way God's way is in from me. Diba? May mga taong, ano, may mga taong nakinig lang sila ng, ano, ng, ng salita ng Panginoon. They received the Lord Jesus Christ. May mga tao na uh, one year, two years, three years na nareceive nila ang, ang, uh, ang salita ng Panginoon. They haven't received Christ. God's ways in calling you to salvation is different from mine. God's ways in giving you partners is different from mine too. May mga iba dyan, pahawak-hawak lang ng kamay. Ako, kindat-kindat. <laughs> mga iba, maraming regalo. So that they can have the partner. Yung mga iba, nagpapastor. So that someone can... <laughs> so, man's way. Man's way is to use big things to accomplish big tasks. They made Titanic to carry more people, right? But... God's ways will use small things to accomplish big purposes. For me, the best example for me that I found in the Bible is Gideon. Gideon was, Gideon was the, uh, the least among his family and weakest clan in Manasseh. He had 32,000 um, um, fighters or, uh, or uh, armies to fight 190K. Tama ba pa, Pastor? <laughs> 190,000 uh, enemies but God says reduce it by 99% leaving him 300 armies and it was this little army that God brought victory to this rise this is the God's way as indeed marvelous to our eyes so I'm going to take you to the story of Cain and Abel and we can study together who knows the story of Cain and Abel? Amen. But let me read to you quickly. Let me get my let me get my Bible. Uh, can you open your Bible, Genesis 4, please? Genesis 4. And uh, let's uh, let's read um, uh, the story of uh, Adam, uh, Cain and Abel. Now Adam, now Adam and knew Eve, his wife, and she he conceived and bore Cain and said, I have acquired man from the Lord. Then she bore again, this time, his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in this process of time, it came, it, it, in this process of time, it came to pass, God came, brought an uh, offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn, of his flock and the and their fat and the Lord respected Abel and his offering but he did not respect Cain and his offering and Cain was very angry and his countenance fell so the Lord said to Cain why are you angry and why has your countenance fallen if you do well Sabina, if you do well will you not be accepted and, and if you not do well, sin lies at the door, and its desire is for you, but you should roll over it. In the other ver uh, version, you must master it. Now Cain took with Abel, with his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up again against Abel, his brother, and killed him. And then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel, your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper and he said what have you done the voice of the brother's blood cries out to me from the ground so now you are cursed from the earth which has opened his mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand when you till the ground it shall no longer yield to strength uh, to you a fugitive and a vagabond you shall be on earth and Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Surely you have driven me out this day from the face of the ground. I shall be hidden from your, from your face. I shall be a fugitive and vagabond on the earth. And I will, and it will happen that anyone who finds me will kill me. And the Lord said to him, Therefore, whoever kills Cain 
vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord said to Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. Amen? So, I know you are familiar with this one. We can relate the story of Cain because he is like us. Like us, he faced problem. Like us, he struggles through his options. Like us, he makes choices that lead to judgment. Sabi niya sa verse 4, tell us that Cain and his brother Abel brought, uh, uh, brought offerings to God. Cain is a tiller of the soil. Abel is uh, a herdsman, a keeper of sheep. Abel's offering was looked up with favor, while Cain's offering was not. We are not told exactly, hindi niya sinabi sa Bible, why his offering was not accepted, no? In fact, we are not even told how he knew that it was not accepted. God somehow made it clear that Abel's offering was acceptable and Cain was not. Some theories, some theories, some some theologians there, sabi nila, Cain's offering was not accepted because he simply, um, Cain's offering was not accepted because he simply offered ordinary props. Whereas Abel offered some of the firstborn of his flock. But let me dwell in this verse 7, uh, Genesis 4, verse 7. Ano sabi niya? If you do well, will you not be accepted? Ang ibig sabihin ng accepted ko, one of the other definitions of accepted here is to exalt, to lift up, to honor. In the beginning, God emphasized sacrifice as the way of man to fellowship and to worship with him. The difference between Abel and Cain was not, tingnan nyo, the difference between Abel and Cain was not that one brought a lamb and the other brought a produce. One brought a high up, and one other brought, uh, and the other brought, uh, brought produce or mga gulay. They were protas, mga gulay. They were not presenting a sacrifice of their sins before, uh, but an offering to the Lord. Because when you present a sacrifice of sin, you needed blood to sacrifice. But in this scenario, hindi sila nagpre-present ng uh, sacrifice for offering and sacrifice for sin. They are just merely presenting an offering to the Lord. And it was acceptable or permissible uh, under the law of Moses to present, uh, to present offering of the produce of the ground. In fact, at that time, you can honor the Lord with, all, with the first of all your produce. In this matter, there was nothing fine. Uh, in this matter, there was nothing fine fault with Cain. Makikita natin, walang fault ni Cain dito kasi both of them gave and presented an offering but let me let me let me tell you in verse 3 in verse 3 sabi niya and in the process of time it came to us that Cain brought an offering of the fruit uh, of the fruit of the ground to the lord without kind of any suggestions or without kind of any demand from god Cain brought his offering in in his will and in his volition to take some of his labor and present them as a wanted to get ahead with his brother. I am the older. Maybe he, he wants to say that. Or maybe he wanted, or maybe Cain wanted to impress, impress God, right? Maybe he wanted. Maybe Cain wanted to impress God. Maybe Cain wanted to perform a duty or uh, uh, an offering uh, or execute a duty to God. He just want to do it, just like Nike. Just do it. Just give your offering. However, God did not respect Cain's offering, but He respected Abel's. Bakit kaya? God told Cain that his fundamental problem is not. Uh, was that he did not do well. Sabi niya dyan, he did not do well. Whereas Abel, sabi niya, by faith, Hebrews 11 verse 4, sabi niya, by faith that Abel offered God a better sacrifice. Therefore, Abel's gift were more acceptable to God. Makikita niyo, Hebrews 11 verse 4, Cain and Abel brought offerings to God, but 
the attitude of their hearts were different that makes the story different. Amen po ba? Man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Amen. So that's like what uh, God is uh, telling to Samuel uh, on behalf uh, of David before. First Samuel 16, 7. Sabi niya, but the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance of, of, or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the, look, but the Lord looks at the heart. That's why David called a man after God's own heart. How's your heart, mga kapatid? How's our heart? Can you, sabi ng Panginoon, can you get it right, King? Can you? All would be well. Yan ang advice ng God kay King po. behavior. You have a food in the house. You know that someone is coming back home. He's starving and he's hungry. You ate all the food. 
'di ba? Yan po ang ano, yan po ang uh, you only think of yourself. Uh, you are uh, self promoting. They have a one-sided conversation. Think that they think that their reason is the best. They think that the rules don't apply them. I I remember the three brothers if talking about the rules ano. Uh, the eldest brother says the rule the rules don't apply to me because I am the oldest. I make rules in this house. Eh, sabi naman ng middle, sabi niya, I am in the middle. I am the reason why we have rules. Eh, ano naman sabi ng ano? Nang, uh, nang, nang youngest, ano? Sabi ng youngest, I am the youngest. The rules don't apply to me. Sino ang mga bunso dyan? <laughs> Other says, they are controlling people. Ano? They controlling freak. Telling someone what to do. They even tell you what to eat, what to... Uh, what to talk, uh, what to drink, and what to read. So it's it's hard to control, ano? Because of this sinful nature of man, we become selfish. We become, and when we are selfish, we become proud, arrogant. Amen? Ano bang proud? Ano bang arrogance? There's, you have a feeling of a great satisfaction. Uh, yung small achievements mo, na you satisfy ka, yung small achievements. You're showing a feeling of being better than others. Mm -hmm. Sino ba dyan? You're proud. Uh, you have a hard time of following orders because they believe that they are the boss. They believe they are the God. They, the, uh, they don't uh, follow the orders because they give the orders. Right? Um, in our context here, you know, this is the pride that God's hate. Pride that conceits or conceive sin. Remember Cain? Remember case not acceptable worship offering because uh, you cannot give God whatever you want. Lord, this is my 10%. You got it already. Pero ibang puso mo, inisip mo, I have so many bills to pay. Yeah. So case pride got him rejected. Even more humiliating when, become, when he became furious, when, we, when he became angry. Ano ang, ano? Just because because of pride, he became angry. Sinabi lang Panginoong totoo, he became angry. So whoever you are, are you angry with someone when someone tells you the truth about you? Sabi nila, sister, ang ganda mo. Hmm, hindi naman, sister. <laughs> Pero yung sinabi nila na kahit na marami yung baro niya or the shoes is bad, your shoes is bad, maganda, maano na. Uh, we have a hard feeling, ano? we have a feeling. So, we are not, uh, we are, you know, kung maganda, okay, pero kung masama, hindi okay. That's the rejection made, uh, made Cain look lesser than his brother Abel. This resulted envy, and the root of envy is pride. So, God hates proud people because it is the hindrance to seeking him. Let me repeat. God hates proud people because it is the hindrance to seeking Him. Pride will cover you not delighting the Lord and His ways. Is it glorifying if you have pride? Satan. Why Satan was cast out from the heaven? Because of his pride. He had that selfish, boldness attempt to replace God Himself. But Satan will be cast down to hell in the final judgment of God. So, what is the antidote? The antidote of those things are obviously Christ-likeness. God glorifying to delight God's ways. Cain, Cain just presented his offering to God because it looks like, here you go, God, this is my share. Many believers struggle to know whether our desire, our service, performance, our act comes from the Lord or comes from themselves. So let's hard check ourselves. Doing the ministry, is it good? Is it for God when we do our ministry? Or just do it for the sake of being called Christian? Is it glorifying? God, has want, uh, God wants us to renew our mind with and fill our hearts with desires that glorify Him. That delights the Lord. Sabi niya sa Romans 12 2, sabi niya, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern 
what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable, uh, good and acceptable and perfect. We should be waste. We should not be wasting our lives with the kind of success, prosperity that the world has to offer. Believers who are conforming to the world, agreeing in harmony, are not worthy. They are useless. It's bad to be It's bad to be successful. No, it's not bad to be successful. But in different areas of our lives. But if it's not glorifying the Lord, it's bad. God's way of keeping his believers to align to him is basically our light cast lifestyle. Ano bang yung life, lifestyle natin? Cast, di ba? Shell group, uh, your uh, devotion, which is the appointment of God daily. You go to Sunday service and you go to training. Yan bang lifestyle natin? That's what trans transformation is like. Renewing your mind first on the inside then we can see the results on the outside. And when you are proud, you are self-righteous. The second truth, when sin crouches your, in your door, you are self-righteous. Anong ibig sabihin ng self-righteous? Close-minded Christian, they know it all. They do not seek God's for wisdom because they believe they know everything. They don't want, they don't delight in God's way because they have their own way. Kandain mo ngayon my way, uh, go. They have, they have my way. They, they value self, not over God. They make their own right, uh, they make their righteousness known. Holier than thou, sabi nila. Going to church every Sunday. They, 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 uh, they do Bible study every week. They talk about their contributions. They pledge uh, and support the foundations of any churches. Even teachers who are preaching in the, in the name of Jesus and kingdom, they know everything. But Jesus Christ says in Matthew 7, 21, I never knew you, sabi niya. Di ba? Sabi niya. Anong sabi niya? I never knew you. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But who does the will of my Father in heaven? Yeah, they would refuse admission to the kingdom because Jesus Christ had no admission or Jesus Christ had no personal relationship with them. Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? Amen po ba? In 1 John 3.12, open your book in 1 John 3.12, not as Cain who was of the wicked, one of the murder. Uh, Wicked one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Why did he murder him? Because his works were evil and his brothers righteous. Here, Cain is identified as a spiritual brother, a spiritual son of God, whereas a spiritual child of the devil. Cain uh, is identified as a spiritual uh, son of devil. And Abel is identified as child of God. Cain's murderous act is the result of his anger and jealousy over who has more righteous offering. Therefore, when you become jealous or, uh, or when you become, when you anger and you become jealous, you are hateful. You become hateful. Amen. This is the result of God. Uh, this is the result if you self-righteous all the time. Cain's problem was not that sacrifice was not accepted, but his main problem was according to verse 5, open your Bible in verse 5, sabi niya, he was very angry and his face was downcast. He's dejected. Why? Because he just received criticism from the Lord. He was told that he was, he was told that what he did was not acceptable. Now, God did not kill him. That God did not punish uh, Cain. God simply told him that he was lacking. This is unpleasant use for God, uh, for Cain, and he was discouraged by it. By it, that it developed his anger, his frustration, his hatred to to Abel. And when we become Cain itself, we be, and if we became Cain likeness. We hear unpleasant news. We re receive unpleasant news. We became angry, diba? 
Example, when your boyfriend or girlfriend tells you, I don't love you anymore. That's, uh, that's a bad news, right? It's unpleasant news. Or uh, the, uh, the, uh, the worst is when your husband or your wife says, honey, I don't love you anymore and I must look for another one. Oh, it's sweet, no? And when your money, uh, when your boss or your manager says, you are not capable of employee anymore, I have to replace you with someone new. Or when your teacher says, I'm, uh, I'm going to give you C, even though you work hard for your, uh, for your studies, you know? You did your best to study. When your pastor says, Jonathan, you must grow. Mm -hmm. We became angry. We became downcast. We became dejected, right? So Ephesians 4.31, sabi niya, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Anger does not produce righteousness of God. Amen? Anger lives in the heart of the false. Anger tends only to the devil or Satan. In pursuing Christ-likeness, what is the counterpart of self-righteousness? Obviously, it's truly righteous, right? Second Corinthians 5.21 says, For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. A righteous person, a righteous Christian, is made right with God through Jesus Christ. Amen? Our Lord Jesus Christ was sinless. He had no sin. He was without sin, and in him is no sin. But he took on himself the sin of the world. God made him to be sin for us so that we made right with our Lord God. The sins of the world were placed on him so that in turn, his righteousness could be given to those who trust in him. So that we could be declared righteous, that is to say, justified. So it is through our relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Self-righteousness is destructive po. The righteousness of God is in Jesus Christ is imputed or credited to believers. Now, my third, uh, the third and last truth, when sin, when sin crouches in your door, when sin goes in your life, self-seeking, Ano pag ibig sabihin ng self-seeking? Men make shows or men seek public recognition. We tend to show. We tend to accomplish. Uh, we tend to uh, show our accomplishment to, uh, to be recognized. Our talent, your talent, we tend to show them. We tend to, even our contributions, we tend to tell that <clears throat> we have hundred thousands of contributions to the, uh, to the society. So we did that we did that for in the Philippines. When I and Susan work in, uh, in, in the politics in the Philippines, we tend to, uh, we did that in uh, political purposes in the Philippines. Uh, we call it Operation Tulong, uh, to the indigent Operation Help in English. We, 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 gave, uh, we gave help to the indigent people and ready uh, to uh, help them in times of in need. Why? Because we promote our leader for a government position. Yan po, we are self-seeking. We, we are blinded. We are blinded by the things that capture our own desires, our own wants, our ambitions. We are blinded by these things. That's why our passions are compelling. Our passions are demanding. You have a driving force to get it. Are you one of those? Cain was already jealous and angry. But something worse was waiting in Cain's door. Something worse. Ano ba yon? The spirit of murder. The spirit of murder. Nandyan ang puso ni Cain. God told Cain that he must master it. My warning po siya. He should conquer it. He should conquer that sin. That crouching, that creeping in inside his door. But Cain did not pay attention to the God, to the warning of God, just like many of us do not listen, not following God's warning in his scripture today. Cain did not respond to God's call. Instead, instead of humbling himself to God, he exalted himself and gave in the desire 
in his flesh. That pride turned hatred, and that hatred, hatred propels his mind to become murderers, to become a killer. He ended up killing his brother Abel. Then God, then God became his enemy. First John three fifteen. Sabi po niya, First John three fifteen. Whoever whoever hates his brother is a murderer. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer. Listen to this. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. So whoever hates your brother is a murderer. And a murderer has no eternal life abiding in him. Those who do not love their fellow Christians, warning, those who do not love their fellow Christians are not living in light, but instead they are living in the darkness. Hatred po, is spiritually the same as murder in the eyes of God. Hatred, okay? Take note. Hatred is, uh, is uh, spiritually the same uh, as murder in the eyes of God. That's why don't say, I hate you. Don't say, I hate you to your brother. Why? We are mother at heart if you say, I hate you. No mother, sabi niya, no mother has eternal life because Jesus Christ is eternal life. Amen? Amen. Marami tayong verse. James 4, 1, 2. Ano sabi niya? James 4, 1, 2. Where, where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure that war in your members? You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and do not obtain. You fight and war. Yet, you do not have because you do not ask. You do not have because you do not ask God. And even though you ask God, you don't receive it because of wrong motives, because of uh, selfishness and uh, unrighteousness agenda. That's in verse three, 3, if you continue reading it. So what causes fights and quarrels among you? James answered his own question. Sabi niya, what, where do fights and quarrels come, come from? Where do fights and quarrels come from? James answered, sabi niya, it's from your desires that battle within you. It's a conflict that comes out of your lust and pleasures. Unbelievers fight against evil desires. Our lusts, our pleasures, they cannot control. And usually, when you fight, you're usually not successful because sin is in there. That's why devil is strong. Uh, because it becomes the foothold, uh, foothold of, uh, of Satan. Satan foothold. Lying was the third sin of Cain. Lying was the third sin of Cain. The first sin of Cain was unacceptable worship. Second, he became angry. And third, he lied he, he he lied to god sabi niya nang sabi ng verse 4 i mean uh, chapter 4 verse 9 sabi niya then the lord said to cain where is abel your brother ano sinabi ni cain he said i don't know am i my brother's keeper ewan ko hindi ko alam kung nasaan siya bakit ako ba ang tagapag tagapagbantay sa kanya he lied already he killed abel but he lied satan Satan was ruling over him. That sin crouches his door. That sin crouches his door. Satan was ruling over him. Satan is the most powerful being in the universe apart from God. Amen. He is clever and very smart. He's a per he has a perfect scheme uh, to take us down, believers. He's a very strong enemy. Uh, the only way we can win is to rely, to rely God and his strength because Satan cannot defeat God. They go for the next best thing. Who? Defeating you and me. Defeating God's believers or God's followers. So the devil is strong. The devil is strong. Satan is strong. But God is stronger still. Amen po ba? Amen. Satan is strong, but God is stronger still. 
So let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go back home now. Let's go to conclusion number one. <laughs> Alam ni Coach Ibes yan. Kung conclusion number one, may conclusion number ten. Conclusion number one. Sabi niya, the step of a righteous good man are all ordered by the Lord from his words. And he delights God, uh, God's will and his ways. Even when the righteous man fall, even when you fall, you will not be, it will not be a permanent fall. Amen? Amen. It will not be a permanent fall because the Lord delivers you. The Lord delivers him. Sabi niya sa verse 24, Psalm 37 verse 24, for the Lord uphold, upholds him with his right hand. Cain could have made the decision to take responsibility of his action. Ano, ano sa nagagawin niya? Repent and draw near to God. But he did not because there is sin crouching in his door. If a man say he trusts the Lord God, he trusts in the blood of Jesus, but he has a proud heart and arrogant spirit. God will resist him and oppose him, just like Cain did. Our offerings, our worship, our prayer, our service, your tithes and your offerings are acceptable to God only and only if they come from the broken and contrite heart of faith. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? If they only come from a broken and repentant heart, humility of heart is the first step to salvation. Amen po ba? Amen. Humility of heart is the first step to salvation. So let's humble before the Lord and let, and let His ways be our labor and let His ways be our service. It's not the fluency of our speech, po. it's not the efficiency of our service that God looks at, but rather the attitude of your heart. Cain likeness. Cain likeness is our culture in this world. Cain likeness is like Jonathan likeness. It's just like Remy likeness. It's just like Leon likeness. Huh? Like Ives likeness. Culture says in this world, promote yourself. This is who I am. This is who I am. This me, this Jonathan, I, myself, and I. Christ likeness says, or Jesus likeness says, deny yourself. Culture says, take, take, take. Take, take, take. Christ likeness says, or Jesus say, give, 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 because he delights to give. Sabi po ni C.S. Lewis, sabi po ni C.S. Lewis, uh, sino ba si C.S. Uh, C. Lewis? Narnia. Siya po ang author ng Narnia. God love us not because we are lovable, because He is love. Not because He needs to receive, but because He delights to give. The culture says we hate those who hurt us. Christ like this, Jesus Christ says, love and bless those who persecute you. Culture says, pursue, pursue, pursue the things that, uh, uh, that gives you happiness. Get a lot of stuff, work, work, work until, until you retire, have more money so that you can have a big house, big cars. Jesus Christ says, or Christ likeness says, pursue God instead. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, and his righteousness will be added unto you. The culture says, tomorrow is not promised. Live it now. Pursue happiness. Ano bang sinabi ng Panginoon? Christ likeness says, pursue righteousness. Pursue holiness. Pursue and live for eternity. All these things can only be attained by accepting and receiving our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? The only way to do these things is to is through Jesus Christ in order for us to be righteous with our, our Father. Sabi niya sa 1 John 3, 16, By this we know love, because He laid down His life for us. And we also ought to, be, to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoever has this world's goods and and sees his brothers in need and shuts 
shut up his heart from him? How does the love of God abide in him? This is the application for of John 3.16. Ano ba yung John 3.16? For God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son that whoever who believes in him shall be shall not perish but have eternal life. We ought to lay down when God laid down his own son for us to have eternal life. Sabi ng 1 John 3.16, we ought to lay down, we must lay down our lives to our brother, uh, our brothers, amen po ba? We must live our lives in, in loving God and loving others by sharing them or, or, or blessing them. Bless, help, and serve. Bless, help, self. Bless, help, serve, and show kindness. Are you re reflecting that love to others? We love God by loving others, amen? How? When we love God, we serve Him by serving people also. How can we love God? How can we love others without people? Right? How can we love others without people? We have to witness people. Amen, Baba? We have to witness people. It requires people to work God's work. Amen? Amen. This is our mandate. This is our mission. This is our calling. Are you ready to work? Are you ready to witness people? Ozil Park? Amen. The light is incomplete until it is expressed. So the light is incomplete until it is expressed. Hindi po si Jonathan to ah. Si C.S. Lewis na naman ito. So delighting in the Lord and His ways is an action word. It's a verb. It's an action word. Christians are not looking only for the blessings of God. Response and actions of God. Bless me, bless me. Hindi lang po yun. You have to uh, you have to observe uh, his God's way, his uh, God's will. They uh, one mark of a mature believer or Christian is knowing God Himself and understanding, delighting His ways. Amen. So let's go home. Let's touch down, and this usually cause uh, bumpy ride turbulence. <laughs> Let me ask you this. <clears throat> are your steps, are your steps being ordered by the Lord? Amen. Are your steps being ordered by the Lord? Have you fallen? Have you fallen? If yes, have you risen back up and get back in the fight? Amen? Amen. Yes. The steps have verse 23. Verse 23 have you. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his ways. Do you delight in the will and way of the Lord for your life? Don't be like Cain. Don't be like Cain. We have to delight the Lord. Uh, and of course, when we delight the Lord, we delight His will. Lastly, I have to tell you a uh, story. And no, wala. Sayang wala si Karen. Alam ni Karen to ang story. Lastly, I have to tell you a story. And no service, no connection story. What do, uh, what do I mean by that? And no service and no connection story. It happens to us last week. It happened to us last week. Uh, Karen knows this. Our, our phones died last week. All the phones died last week. The service, the family, the service was cut off. We could not do anything. See, when your phone died, you cannot do anything. All important messages were not received nor answered. We all have devastating feeling po kasi wala kaming uh, wala kaming telepono we have lost our relationship with this phone wala na kami relationship with this phone because that's where we connect people remember facebook mga maraming uh, maraming mga messages si pastor Jero. i can i couldn't even answer leon's uh, questions before i couldn't even answer pastor what's the reason we don't know i did not know that I changed credit card, that I thought it's going to be automatic. Automatic. It did not go through. It, the pay did not go through for three months. Dami. Three months. Bote, mayroon kami call Saturday. In order for us to get service, it requires action. And this action gets me to a connection. Amen? Service requires action. Amen. What action did we talk? Did I take? 
I paid the bill ASAP right away. When I saw it, I paid the bill. It doesn't matter how much. I paid the bill right away. My connection was restored. Sabi niya, wow, meron lang Facebook. Facebook pa lang na. <laughs> wow, meron lang akong Facebook. So, my, uh, I paid the bill. My connection was restored. My relationship with the phone was restored. Listen, folks. We cannot grow. We cannot mature unless we serve. Amen? Amen. And that service requires action. And that action will give you connection to God. Amen? Let me repeat. We cannot grow. We cannot mature unless we serve. And that ser service requires action. And that action will give you connection to God. You will again restore and enjoy your relation to God. Amen po ba? Amen. Lastly, I promise. Lastly, Ephesians 4.11. Alam ni Ibesto. Ephesians 4.11. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers. Why? 12. To equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ. Bakit? When? 13. Until we attain to be to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. What? Ano sinabi niya? To mature manhood. To the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. What is the purpose? What is the purpose? The purpose is to become mature manhood. To a perfect man, sabi niya. One of the vital parts of a Christian life is serving. It's not to gain God's love. It's not to gain God's approval. But our service represent our gratitude to God. Amen po ba? Amen. Hindi lang tayo pa, pa, pa church church na lang. It's our service represents our gratitude to God. That's what your attitude is. So what's your attitude in serving God? What's your attitude? Is it by, by heart ba? Or by Cain's likeness? Cain's likeness ba? Cain's likeness ba? Or Christ's likeness? Brothers and sisters, church, Let's improve our service. It's not only to sit down and hear the message. It's not only to hear your Bible, uh, Bible uh, a weekly Bible study. It's not only to join the praise and worship or do the uh, to do uh, any type of ministry. But let's improve our service. You will be. Will you be the answer? Will you be the answer to this call? Huh? Amen. Will you be the answer? Uh, will you be the answer to this call? So if you want to answer this call and wanted to uh, to become uh, part of uh, part of uh, part of the church, or part of uh, the church of Christ, let's improve our service. Don't be Cain likeness. Be Christ likeness. I mean, Papa. So that's uh, our message for today. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for today's message. We thank you for giving us your message, Lord God. Uh, we thank you for showing up for God, Father God, uh, the, the life of Cain and Abel, Lord God, uh, for the way they worship you, the way they uh, uh, they uh, offer uh, their uh, offerings to you, Father, the sacrifices to you, Father God. Salamat, Panginoon. We indeed great, uh, we have grateful God. We have a faithful God, Lord God. I know that you look at the heart of a person, Lord God. May we uh, again humble ourselves, Father, back to you. We thank you, Lord God, that uh, you already have given our Lord Jesus Christ in, in order for us to be righteous. We thank you that you gave us your son to become sin for us. And uh, we thank you, Lord God, that we became righteous because of him. Salamat, Panginoon, and we all give you all the glory, all the thanksgiving. Indeed, Lord God, we are going to delight in you. We are going to delight in your words. And surely, Father God, even though your ways is 
uh, uh, is a mysterious ways, even though your ways is higher as heavens above, Father God, we all uh, we will be always to delight in your ways, Father. Salamat, Pengalang. We need your Holy Spirit to gain those. It's not us, but it's you and the Holy Spirit in within us. Mm -hmm. Salamat, Panginoon. We give you all the praises, all the honor, and thanksgiving. And the people of just say, Amen. Amen. Amen.